Aryan, and in this video, I present our paper entitled Simulation Support for Explainable Cyber-Physical Systems. This paper is a joint collaboration between Vienna University of Technology and Siemens. In a nutshell, this paper describes our work on creating explainability algorithm for cyber-physical systems, in particular smart grids, as the second part of the title suggests. Our main message, as the first part of the title suggests, is that the development of such explainability algorithm is more efficient if they are developed in combination with a grid simulation system as opposed to being developed directly on the real-life CPS. Accordingly, in my presentation, I will therefore explain 1. what we mean by explainable CPS in the context of smart grid, then 2. I will discuss how we couple the development of the explainability algorithm in combination with a simulation system, Finally, I will describe the explainability algorithm itself, which is based on semantic technologies such as knowledge graphs. A CPS is all around us now, and Smart Grid is one example. A CPS bridges the physical and cyberspace. The physical space covers the physical components of the system, its components, sensors, and actuators. In Smart Grids, this refers to the grid equipments, the topology of the network as well as the sensors that collected system measurements and actuators that carry out actuation commands. At the cyber level, the system measurements are collected and processed, then they act as an input to optimization and control algorithms which derive appropriate actuation decisions to be executed by actuators at the physical space. Now imagine that you are one of the customers of such smart grid system namely the owner of an electric vehicle charging station. During the charging of your electric vehicle, you receive a notification saying the charging mode is changed to minimum or economical level, which make it slower. As a customer, you want to know why such things happen. To do this, usually one contacts a customer support to ask for an explanation. For the example's sake, a potential explanation could be that overcast weather leads to the drops of the power at the individual PV installations, which on their turn led to a limited grid capacity and the need to reduce charging capacity at the charging station poles accordingly, and also taking into account the customer's tariff agreements. However, receiving such explanation can take some time. In our work, we focus on developing explainability algorithms which, upon request, are able to provide explanations to why a given state of the system or an event in the system occurred, similarly to what the customer send support centers do. Let's call the system for generating an explanation from a cyber-physical system an XCPS for short. In order for the XCPS system to deliver explanations, it needs the internal representation of the system state as obtainable from the system measurements of actuation actions as well as information about those system contexts that are relevant for the explanation task. In our example, it's the weather. There are, however, several change challenges that are encountered when developing the XCPS systems. One, collecting real-life system data has a high engineering cost. It takes a lot of time and effort to connect the various sensors in the physical space, collect their data, and pre-process it to the quality level needed for XCPS. Two, events that require explanation happens only rarely, which makes the testing of the XCPS system difficult for a broad range of events. And three, the type of events that can be tested for in vivo is limited, especially in mission-critical systems. Critical events cannot be induced for the sake of testing that system. All these points have the result that the CPS algorithm development is costly and the developed algorithm cannot be sufficiently well tested. The solution approach we propose to address these challenges is to couple the explainability algorithm with the simulation environment. Therefore, firstly, data collection is easier as it is provided by the simulation environment already in a clean format and high quality. Secondly, various events and scenarios can be simulated in vitro, thus allowing us to develop algorithms that can be tested 
on wide range of scenarios. In our work, we use Bifrost, a tool developed by Siemens as an environment to support the development of the XCPS algorithm for smart grids. Bifrost is a co-simulation platform and a scenario modeling tool for smart grid systems. It allows constructing and simulating a small world called a settlement. In this screenshot of Bifrost, one can see a settlement in which the example simulation scenario could take place. We see several buildings equipped with the PV stations, as well as several electric vehicle charging stations, all connected through a transformer and the cloud depicts the weather situation. As a simulation tool, Bifrost is a co-simulation platform where each aspect of the modeled world relies on external simulation components over the web via REST API call. These components are also known as functional mockup unit or FMU in the co-simulation terminology. Bifrost controls the time update of the simulated model and invokes each modules in particular order to get the update on each subdomain models, solve the power flow equation, and other data conserving operation like a dashboard. Therefore, the dynamic changes in the consumption and production of electricity, as well as various adjustment actions within the grid to respond to high demand are explicitly simulated and available for further processing by external modules such as our explainability algorithm. Now let's get back to the XCPS system. As you can see, the system itself feeds in various data from different sources. From the CPS, it requires not only the data that is produced during the execution, like the measurements, but also the quote-unquote blueprint and understanding of how the components work. The XCPS system also utilizes additional context information. To capture all this information as a basis for explainability, we propose a solution based on semantic technologies, in particular knowledge graphs. This slide shows the overall architecture of our XCPS solution. If we look inside, the components can be classified into two core components. The first is the situation understanding that based on integrating different data and services in one place. In our proposed solution, we use knowledge graph to handle the integration. The second one is the explanation generation that uses all integrated data to generate explanation. The process of generating explanation involves making an inference to understand what the current situation is and use this to restrict the reasoning process of graph traversal to find connections in the history of events. In our solution, the knowledge graph explicitly models a variety of information as can be seen in this overview picture. We model the topology of the physical grid, the available sensors and actuators, as well as the types of the system measures available. This information is then populated directly from Bifrost data. Most importantly, we also explicitly model the causality relations between various measurements this causality information as well as knowledge of the topology are used in a graph traversal algorithm to derive an explanation tree. Here are some example data made using the previous schema. The data shown here represent the two outer layers in the schema. We start with a representation of the power grid network and the devices, sensors and actuators that are deployed. The features of interest in this case are transformator, PV station, charging station, and a house, all shown in the red circles. The features are linked by other features through a wires, for example, shown in blue. The other circles represent the devices, the sensors and actuators. And here is the data for the physical or abstract properties, which represent the innermost layer in the schema. The properties such as loading, voltage, current, power, etc. are related through causality relationship from the domain expert. This data is relatively not changing over time and generic enough to be applied in various real configurations. The challenge is then how to apply this knowledge in order to reason about relationship between the devices in the network. 
as an image shows, it, the relationship between the devices are inferred through relationship of properties in the previous slide. The devices shown in various colors are connected through other device through a series of nodes of properties and property relationships shown in blue and purple circles. As an example here on the top left area, the PV power sensor is connected to the PV solar intensity sensor through a relationship between a power generated property in blue and solar intensity in blue and on the top right via a causal relationship in purple. Once the relationship between devices are inferred, they can be used to find an explanation for of an event associated with a device. In this example, the event is charging slower action shown as brown circle on the top left. The action associated with the charging mode actuator in the charging station depicted in the green circle. By tracing the cause by relationship, we see that the loading sensor in the trafo is also associated with an event called the overload warning. From this device, we go further to all of the devices connected by this caused by relationship that are associated with the event. In the end, we can say that the slow charging event in the charging station is caused by overload warning, low power production in the PV because of the cloudy weather detected by solar intensity sensor. Also, the overload warning is caused by peak consumption usage in the house. In summary, we have discussed three things. First is that the explainability is essential for complex systems like CPS, including smart grids, which is the focus of our work. Second, the engineering any system on top of CPS is particular, in particular explainable CPS is challenging, but can be made much easier when coupled with a simulation such as baby frost. And third, our proposed solution for explainable CPS is based on knowledge graph. As for the current state of our project is still in progress. We have now a, a baseline implementation based on simplified use case scenarios and other assumptions. We are in the process of integrating it with Bifrost to cover the other objects in order to scale it up to the model real world situation. For example, a use case scenario in Aspern Smart City Living Lab in Austria. Thank you for watching or listening and don't forget to look for more details in the paper or reach us in the contact information in this slide. Goodbye.